We're Cindy and Eddie. And this is Squeeze the Day. Good morning. Good morning. Lou says morning too. We're going to Oxford, Mississippi. That's going to be a good trip. We're leaving a little bit early this morning, so we're... We got six hours or seven, six and a half to seven hours to go with some stops along the way. So it's going to be a little longer day than we've had in the past. We're taking you along with us. Got a couple extra stops on the way. That's why we're leaving so early in the morning. Should be pretty quick stops. We're just planning ahead in case they're not. Athens is a great place to visit. We'll have to return one day soon so we can see more of it. It's a little overcast today, but we're headed west now from Athens. We'll show you a little bit of the scenery along the way. First thing we'll probably see is the area around Atlanta. I don't know if we'll get a skyline view, but hopefully we will show you. Check out that morning sky after 7 a.m. we're digging it. Just getting better. It's gonna be a beautiful day. There's a little bit of personal history that we have with Atlanta. We've been here a couple of times and we absolutely love this city and the area around it. Check out our other videos to see more. Not trying to promote, just happened to be a view along the way. time we were in a Bucky's we were in Texas and well Texas is kind of known for their Bucky's they do a really good job with it we absolutely love Bucky's and so do a lot of other people and we're gonna take a minute and show you why so we've got our coffee let's go get some food you don't know anything about Texas Texas does everything big since Bucky's is a Texas thing, it's big. I mean, really big. It's also loud and busy. Those are our two sandwiches. We're gonna be trying them in just a minute. Now we are heading back on the road. We'd love to spend some more time here, but we got things to do and hotels to go. <laughs> That's the pulled pork one. And this here is the sliced one. Boy, have we missed these. There are 120 gas pumps at this particular Bucky's. We've been to other ones where there were more. We did have these on the sandwiches and they were so good. They were both really delicious. I don't know if I could have picked one to be better over the other. No, <sighs> so good. Now we're back on the road and we're headed towards Oxford, Mississippi again. Yep. We'll be there soon. The GPS says we'll be there in about three hours. We'll show some sights if there's anything to see. I think we're about to go through Birmingham.
you at Oxford. Make sure you take one of these maps. It's available at the front desk so you can walk around town and know where you're going. Cooper Manning is going to let us in. As soon as you walk in, you've got a massive mirror on the left hand side. Again, you know we love those. Right beyond that is our TV stand. Let's go ahead and open those doors up and see what we got inside. Safe will be there on the left. Refrigerator on the right. Next, we've got the desk. Love that classic foam, but it's silver this time. I love that chair, good colors. That is our bed for the night. One thing we have that's new here, we haven't had in any of our previous graduate hotels. A little closet space right there. Let's go take a look at our view. Not too shabby, we can see our truck from here. And we can also see that outdoor patio. Now for the bathroom tour. As you walk in, obviously you're gonna have everything standard the way it goes. And a tub today, I guess who's gonna be using that? Mailing gets. Right now we are in Mississippi and we're loving it here. This is Oxford. I have with me Ricky Perez. And what do you do here? The general manager. We're fortunate enough to bump into him downstairs right before we checked in. We asked him if we could ask him a couple questions about why is this graduate so awesome? So he's gonna tell us. So the coop, it, uh, it opens in the afternoon. It opens at 4 p.m. and stays open until ultimately through midnight. Yeah, we're gonna take a look at that in a little bit. Um, that's one of the reasons we're super excited about being here and part of the reasons we wanted to make sure that we got here as early as possible so we could get as much of the videos done before we went up there and got that. We're really excited about that. Yeah. So do you, uh, I know you guys have the bike rental program. Is that active? Absolutely. This area is absolutely gorgeous. The weather right now is fantastic. Rent a bike and rent it from here because if you're here, it's free, right? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. If you're a guest in the hotel, uh, you have access to it, and I think actually the next few days uh, should be some beautiful weather. We have cabin 82, which okay. is located in the lobby right behind us. Mm -hmm. uh, starts at 6 a.m. Uh, most recently, just started doing a uh, hot breakfast, kind of getting back into uh, you know full service and the added amenities. So we're super excited about that. So it's a great place to kind of start your morning off, kind of get your uh, mind right, and uh, go to bike riding and enjoy the town. That's how you do it. This place is awesome. So it's a rooftop bar. I'm gonna give you a look of the outside in just a minute. It is amazing and I'm super excited about it. That is the view that you're gonna to wanna to get. We showed you a drive-in of the city as we came in here, a little bit of the center city. Let me get you a better look at that. Behind me, you're gonna see cabin 82. This is where you get your coffee in the morning. The fitness room is gonna be on the second floor. This is a great workout space. We 
are definitely coming up to the rooftop bar because you gotta get some good food. We're gonna try it out. With us today is our host that's helping us out. I'm Tom McManus. I'm the food and beverage director here at the Coop at the Graduate Hotel. This is definitely a spot to be. We're gonna be in town. The Coop is a spot to be. We open up at 4 o'clock on weekdays. Saturdays we open at 11, Sundays at 12. Definitely comes in. And now we're gonna show you why. Of course you know we're going to have dinner while we're here on the rooftop bar. The yellow drink is a rosemary bee's knees and the wine is a dark horse Pinot Noir. And this is the best charcuterie board we've seen in a long time. From the elevator you're going to see the host stand. If it's not too busy they're just going to let you walk in and take a seat. We decided to go sit over by the window which was perfect so we could get the sunset you're going to see in a minute. The charcuterie board was delicious, and we also got a smash burger. Both were recommended, both were amazing. And this is the view you're going to get when you're sitting at the rooftop bar outside. Okay, first of all, that view that we're getting, I'm blown away. It is sunset and we are on top of the hotel right now, Oxford. Mississippi. This is, this is. <laughs> we're working. loving this place. Yeah, um, I'm gonna say it right now. Like the food here, uh, you gotta come upstairs and get the food on this rooftop bar. Not even a joke. So good. But, and it's a small town yeah. feel here, so you, you, you know you're gonna love it. Yeah, and, and I'm not going to stop talking about the food here for like a year uh, because it is that good. We're digging it. They treated us so well. They were above and beyond anything we could have imagined from a, re from a restaurant, from a hotel. Yeah, um, so yeah awesome place. Uh, we just really had a good time. Yeah. So hope you do too. Before we close out, we wanted to say thank you to Graduate Oxford. They wanted to show a little appreciation for us putting some effort into talking about uh, the Graduate Hotel here. It's an amazing hotel, definitely come. But uh, they gave us a little bit of a swag bag here. We're gonna take a quick look at it and see it. This is the swag that we got at Graduate Oxford. Love it. Thank you so much, guys. Before we go any further, we just wanted to give a little shout out to the Graduate Hotel crew. In These Oxford. in Oxford. These are the ladies that make it all happen. They're making the rooms clean. They're making sure that everything's stocked up that needs to be stocked up. So we have to say thank you to them before we go any further. You guys don't want to say anything to our fans out there? Hello. <laughs> this is Sam and Courtney. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well.